Wat ben ik? Wie ben ik? Hi, welkom allemaal. Ik ben een fiets. I'm a bike. Waarom ben ik een fiets? Why I am a bike? Vandaag leer ik jullie hoe je vragen kan stellen. Today I'm teaching you how you can ask questions. It's about open questions. Open vragen. En voor open vragen gebruik je vraagwoorden. For open questions you use question words. En vandaag leer ik jullie 10 vraagwoorden. So today I'm going to teach you 10 question words. Probably you know this game. It's called what is it? Who is it? In this case, it is what is this? Wat is dit? Okay, dit is een fiets. And I'm gonna play this game also in this video to show you how you can ask questions. But I'm not gonna do that with this, no. I'm going to replace it with this card. What does it say? Doutsen Kroes. And Doutsen Kroes is a really famous supermodel and she's Dutch. So I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna put this thing here. Yeah, is it all right like this? So already you know it, I know it doesn't really matter, but it's nice to have something here on my head. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna ask 10 questions with 10 different question words. I'm gonna answer these questions as well. Every time that I answer a question, you'll see a picture and these pictures can help you to understand the question and the answer better without having to translate it. Because in the end, like I told you, all the videos will be more and more in Dutch. And learning a language is also about translating things less and less, but trying to learn new words from the context. And by going into that language, instead of trying to translate and switch between two languages, or maybe even three, like for instance, when I'm learning Spanish, sometimes I switch between Dutch, English, Spanish, and my brain is like doing this. All the questions are in Dutch, all the answers are in Dutch. Um, what else? Yeah, after the class, you can go to the website and practice with the question words. You can also go back to the other classes that I already published. There are extra materials. So watch this class, then practice, and off we go. So again, we're gonna pretend that I don't know who this is. I only know that it's a woman. Het is een vrouw. Vraag 1. Waar komt zij vandaan? Waar komt zij vandaan? Zij komt uit Nederland, uit Friesland. Waar woont zij nu? Waar woont zij nu? Nu woont zij soms in Nederland en soms in New York. Hoe oud is zij? Hoe oud is zij? Zij is 35 jaar. Wanneer is zij precies geboren? Wanneer is zij precies geboren? Zij is geboren op 23 januari 1985. Waarom is zij bekend? Waarom is zij bekend? Zij is bekend omdat zij heel mooi is. Wat doet zij voor werk? Wat doet zij voor werk? Zij is model. Hoe lang is ze? Hoe lang is ze? Zij is 1 meter 
79. This means she's a little bit taller than I. Zij is een beetje langer dan ik. Welke kleur haar en ogen heeft ze? Welke kleur haar en ogen heeft ze? Ze heeft blond haar en blauwe ogen. Met wie is zij getrouwd? Met wie is zij getrouwd? Ze is getrouwd met DJ Sonnery James Gore. I don't know how to pronounce it, sorry. Hoeveel kinderen hebben ze? Hoeveel kinderen hebben ze? Ze hebben twee kinderen. Een jongen, dat is een zoon. En een meisje. Dat is een dochter. Oké, okay, laatste vraag. Uh, hoe laat is het? Het is elf uur. Oké, okay, whatever. En wie is zij? Wat is haar naam? Zij heet Duitse Kroes. Yay! <laughs> Dit ding gaat af nu. Zo. So, samenvatting. Recap. De vraagwoorden die wij hebben gezien zijn waar, which is where, waar vandaan, which is where from, hoe, bijvoorbeeld hoe oud, how old, hoe lang, how long, hoeveel, how many, or how much, en, oh ja, hoe laat, how late, dus hoe laat is het, what is the time, We say literally, how late is it? Dan, wanneer is when. Waarom is why. Wat is what. Welke is which. And I want to say one thing about that at the end. And did we say wie already? Uh, wie is who? So maybe we even had 11. Oh my God, I'm really bad at counting. Of niet. Yeah. So what I said, I want to say one last thing about welke, which is which. First of all, we have welke and we have welk. We will see later as we progress through the classes that there are some words that you have to decline accordingly with the gender of the word. What I mean is that some words in Dutch are neutral. They They take het. The other words are feminine and masculine or plural and they always take de. The het words are a little bit of a pain in the ass with, for instance, the question word welke. If you put that in front of a de word, it's welke. And in front of a het word, it's welk. So I asked welke kleur, dus de kleur. It's the kleur, obviously. If I would have asked for something that is a hat word, for instance, a book, if I would ask which book, it would be welk book. So later on, we're going to see it's also applying to, for instance, ons and onsa, which is our, or to adjectives, and something to keep in mind. I already made a video about the and hat words. You can click here. And watch that if you want. For now, that's the difference between welk and welke. Welk is for het words, welk is for de words. And a little bit different than in English. When you have a noun, you can only use welk or welke in front of it, not wat. So in English, for instance, it's possible to put what in front of a noun, like what color is your hair or what color is her hair but we cannot say what kleur is haar haar which is her hair by the way what kleur is haar haar mm -mm, not possible welke kleur so but can be before a verb for instance what is the kleur what is the color what color is it welke kleur is het So remember, when you have a noun, you put welk or welke in front of it. That's it for today about the question words. Again, you can go to the website, practice a lot as homework, as an assignment. So in Dutch we say als huiswerk, een opdracht. I want to ask you to formulate a question in the comments. Yeah. Dus formuleer een vraag 
met een vraagwoord in de reacties en ik zal jouw vraag beantwoorden. I will answer your question. Oké, okay. thank you for watching again. Dankjewel voor het kijken en tot snel. Doei!